What's up, you guys? Um, I come to you with an ugly cry. I contemplated on even sharing this. <laughs> I literally just asked my daughter to please leave my room so that I can record this. Even though she wanted to comfort me, so I'll let her back in here in just a minute. But I was randomly checking my emails. And um, it's funny because one of my close friends asked me this morning if I had heard from the law school that I was really hoping to get into. I applied to the two as I shared. I already had my initial plan set up. And as I shared in the past, this was a long shot because I was worried about my LSAT score. And, um, but I thought that I had everything else to show more than just the number. Everything I've done, everything I've gone through. And the fact that I have attended this school and did well with my graduate studies but even then I'm still not good enough this is a moment that I'm gonna take in and again I wasn't sure I would even record this because I don't ever want to come off as a crybaby weak someone that failed But it were but at the same time, it's okay for us to be human. So I want to be transparent in that. And this is my journey. If anything, this is just another thing to add to my list of things that I've dealt with in the past. Um, if you hear the background, my kids are out, you know, they're here, they're home, but, um, I really wanted to capture this moment because it's almost like a, a shock. Like I didn't think I was going to get in like easy, but I really, really had kind of talked myself out of doubting myself to the point where I was like I'm gonna get in I, I know I'm gonna get in and I know I shared a few weeks ago that my colleague sort of prepared me for this and said that I probably didn't have a chance because of my LSAT score and um but I just I thought that by submitting my addendum and explaining why you know, I literally studied for my first and second LSAT test during first year of graduate school. Like, I know that's a recipe for failure. And I just, like I said, I didn't necessarily think I would need it again, which is why I didn't want to invest more of my family's money and waste more money on a whole nother preparation course, etc., and go through that and put myself through that, especially right now with COVID and everything else we already have in front of us, you know? And um, I just hoped that me showing my grades and the type of student that I am, and I'm studious, and everybody that knows me knows, like, when I go in, I go in, and I guess it just didn't happen. So let's consider that my first loss. I am applying for two different schools. My initial one, you know, that I I don't want this to come off as I don't care for my first school of choice because initially I was only going to apply there and mainly because I wanted to be smart about it. The the downside it's not accredited to where I wouldn't be able to practice outside of California and that's one of my things that I was kind of holding myself from you know, the, you start to weigh the options, but I thought, why not challenge myself? And I guess you could say I sort of set myself up for this, but I mentioned this because people that have attended this other school, um, 
they have done very well. One of them is an active current attorney of our family for an incident that occurred. And she is awesome. She's amazing. And if I were to tell you who she is, you'll know because she's everywhere. It's like every other billboard. So I just share this. And it's funny how my voice has changed. Like I said already, this is just part of my journey. Yeah. So I'm just praying that at this point I can get in because I really need law school to happen for me this fall. I don't want to waste any more time. I'm not an age to allow more time to go by and I'm ready to start the rest of my future and not have this continue, you know, this being a hurdle. I don't know. God does things you know, things work in mysterious ways. And the only positive I'm feeling right now is that this would have been a very expensive education had I gotten accepted there. So perhaps it's God preparing me for that and don't do that. Don't go down that route. But it is a shot to your ego, especially when you know you've you've worked hard and you put in all this time and effort into something and you just feel like you're a failure. You know, I feel like a failure, but at the same time, I'm only going to take this as a tool to move forward. Nothing in this world that's worth it comes easy. And um, I just know God has his plan. And if this other law school doesn't work out, then I don't know. I, I, you know, do I retake the test? Do I move forward in that sense? I don't know. But what I will tell you is I'm not going to lose hope just yet. My goal is still to be in law school by fall of 2021. And I will keep you all posted. And with that, I thank you for listening in. I apologize. I look crazy. I mean, my makeup was okay, and clearly I'm not wearing a uh, waterproof mascara. And I think I hesitate to post this only because, you know, in everything there's always the person watching and perhaps wishing harm or wishing ill against you, but... without if what is that saying uh if you have haters you must be doing something right i don't know <laughs> i just want this to come off as a as a video that shows that nothing in this life comes easy and sometimes you have to be told no or i'm sorry and i've gosh how much i've gotten denials after denials whether it comes with my job whether it comes with life but what I do know is that I've always managed to move forward and push through them and uh, I'm clearly going through the motions right now only God has his plan so I'm gonna get off of here before I keep crying again I just want to thank everybody that has been there to support me in my journey and I want to be real because I want to be that story to inspire one of you one day so that when little things like this happen, you know not to give up. And I hope to look back on this day one day as I'm walking through a law school graduation stage. It may not be the school where I applied to and got denied. But only God knows what he has in store. And hopefully, it will be the other. And if it doesn't work out, then I guess one can only try again. So, with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't even do an appropriate intro. But I just wanted to capture raw and uncut because... This is what my channel is. This is my my diary, my my journey, my way. 
to try to inspire one of you out there one day. Bye. Ooh, talk about HD and sweaty. I just came back from a run. It's later in the same day. Um, I didn't plan on running today as I had makeup on and would prefer to take the face off before I do such a thing. <coughs> but I think when you have a day like today, it's important to just break away and release in any kind of way that you can. And so I did a lot of reflecting while running and so basically in the last 20 minutes um, this is just going to be a bump in the road I'm bummed out I will be bummed out but there's no sense of beating yourself up over something you can't change so if anything it's just <sighs> disappointing to say, to say the least but there's still hope and just because you don't go to one school doesn't mean that you can't excel in the other. And I will just stay positive and continue to speak it into existence that I will be in law school as of this fall, even if it means going to my first choice. And uh, let's hope that I make it that far. And um, then on the flip side, I'm coming to you with positive news. But again, I appreciate you all for tuning in and um, listening listening to me vent and be real at the end of the day it's just about being real um, so for those of you that are truly engaged with my channel you'll be the first to know um, I did share with you know my best friend and my mom and my husband of course and my kids they saw me crying so they they knew right away but as far as my channel goes, you know, for any of you, some of you didn't even know I had applied until you saw the initial video. So, yeah, just trying to keep it, you know, it's public, but it's also still close to my heart. Um, I don't want to brag on these things because, sorry, it's my dog, because then you also, I didn't want to put it out there. And, you know, we always talk about how we don't want to have things come off as braggy and so that later I'm like, oh, I didn't get in. And it's like more salt on the wound kind of thing. But I choose to share this because it's real. And, you know, I'm not the first to go through this, nor will I be the last. So if it comes to some when they might be feeling down because they got similar news, we're all in this together. And we will come out with whatever God decides to do for us. So we got this. Don't lose track of your goals and uh, just stay motivated to continue to move forward. So, bye guys. Hey guys, I know I've closed this video out like three times, but I wanted to just come on here again with an update. I just saw, it's so crazy how all this is happening on the same day. And um, I just wanted to, I mean, I don't know if this is a sign or what, but I just wanted to capture this moment yet again. Um, I received another email confirming, um, the other law school that I'm, that I applied to that they have officially pulled all my documentation through LSAC, which is the, um, the website you use to submit all your documentation, um, through your CAS report. And they said they have everything and are moving forward with submitting to, to the admissions team and that I should know within the next four to six weeks and it'll be via email as well. So I I don't know what to say, but I don't know if this is God, is this just coincidental? I don't know, but what I do know is that that's a good thing. At least it still gives me the hope, which I think is helping me get through the day. My eyes are like burning from the... Um, you know, when you cry and it just, they just feel heavy for the, the rest of the day or for a couple hours. So yeah, it's been about, maybe about what? It's been about six, five to six hours since I got, or since I read the initial news. So I've had some time to process, but it's still like, I can use a nap. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that I went on a run and had lunch after that. So I'm probably just sleepy, tired, but 
we shall see where this goes. I'll keep you all posted. Hopefully the next time, like I said earlier, it'll be good news.